What if I told you that virtual reality could make time travel possible? I know that probably sounds really absurd, but Dictionary.com defines time travel as the hypothetical transport through time into the past or the future. While I personally don't think we'll ever be able to travel to the future, going by that definition, I do think traversal back in time could be possible with VR. Now, to clarify, I'm not talking about recreating past experiences like how Apollo 11 VR takes you back to the 1969 moon landing, or how Titanic VR brings you back to the fame sinking ship, even though those are compelling experiences in their own right. What I'm talking about involves leveraging a VR headset coupled with immersive volumetric capture. I'm not talking about just 360 degree video or even stereoscopic data, but capturing 3D point cloud information that will allow you to truly explore and walk around past experiences. Take for instance Adai's work, where they captured volumetric footage of a young mother holding her baby daughter as she's addressing her from the past. Unlike a traditional camera, because Adai's solution tracks a volume, you can walk in that space and feel like you're reliving that moment. It's mechanics like these coupled with the fact that you can hop back in and look at different elements within the scene that really separate it from any other medium. Google Earth VR is also another example of virtual reality capturing a moment frozen in time. For instance, if you recently moved into your apartment, you can visit your place in Google Earth VR to see if it has been updated to account for your car being parked in the driveway. While all this volumetric data is pretty low res thus far, Google has been experimenting with light-filled cameras that can track volumetric data at a much higher fidelity. If you tried the company's Welcome to Lightfields app, then you know how much presence it can induce and how immersive it is. If you've never tried it, in short, it feels like you're being transplanted to not virtual recreations of environments, but real-world locales. Google's Lightfield cameras use multiple GoPros on a mount that spin around in 360 degrees coupled with an algorithm to realistically capture a scene in three-dimensional volumetric space. While these rigs are quite large, expensive, and hard to work with, the natural evolution will be for these cameras to shrink in size and to be more consumer friendly. For instance, Red has recently teamed up with Facebook to work on a spherical VR camera called the Manifold that can capture six degrees of freedom movement video footage. It's still quite large, but imagine a world in which you can stick a 360 degree volumetric camera in your pocket. Then, imagine those cameras being able to offer larger tracking volumes. If they evolve to be as pervasive as smartphones, they could truly redefine how we interact with time. This could lead to interesting ventures in time travel. Not only will you be able to experience concerts you've previously enjoyed, but you can reattend special moments in your life. Imagine going back to your wedding. Perhaps in VR, you can walk around different tables that you previously didn't explore and view things you might have missed the first time around. Trippier still, imagine being teleported back to your own birth or sitting next to your parents before you were even born as they go out on a date. Beyond capturing special moments, these theoretical cameras could be used for practical purposes too. Imagine revisiting a crime scene and seeing how culprits robbed a bank. Where it can get even more interesting is when we're able to access a shared bank of past experiences. Imagine popping in a file that lets you go back and attend the inauguration of the first female president, or perhaps the first moments man lands on Mars. Virtual reality has the potential to fundamentally alter our concept of what is possible with time. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.